Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today is another talking video and if you can tell by the title of this video, it is my all time best of 2017 for beauty products. So this is everything, skincare, makeup, healthcare, and like overall hygiene care that I have been absolutely obsessed with through the entire year of 2017. And I wanted to do this video because there actually was a lot this year that isn't new to my routine and that actually made a huge impact throughout the year for my skin, my body, my hygiene, my hair, my everything, and even my makeup life. So I thought it would be really cool to share with you guys the things that were earth shatteringly amazing for me during 2017. 17. And this has been the first year in three years that I've consistently lived in a Western country. I've been living in Australia for pretty much all of 2017. So a lot of the products that I have been in love with have been actual Western brands. And it's the first time I can say this and actually have a lot of Western favorites in years. It's crazy. So I'm really excited today to share with you guys what I've been in love with during 2017. All the key products that have just been absolutely amazing. So without further ado, let's hop right into the video. Oh, and I forgot, if you guys want to find out how I got this look that I have on now, then definitely subscribe because that's going to be the next video that I upload. And of course, subscribe in general if you want to see more for makeup tutorials, skincare videos, routine videos, and all that jazz beauty related. To start off this video we are going to be talking about makeup because it's probably the fewest items I have just because I've been using a lot of repeat products that I already loved in 2016 but there have been a few new items that I have been really enjoying for 2017 and the first one is one that I got maybe four months ago and it is the custom color pop palette that I made that I that I made. So basically I ordered all these ColourPop eyeshadows individually on their website because ColourPop is so affordable you guys. I think almost every single one of these eyeshadows in my palette cost like four, five, six dollars in that like range. I actually did an entire swatch video on this custom palette that I made introducing every single eyeshadow. So if you guys want to like get more details on this entire palette that I custom made for myself, then I'll have the video linked in the cards above. So you can click that video if you want to see more about this palette. But basically every single eyeshadow in here I have been <laughs> obsessed with and I always use in like all my tutorials. Now it's actually becoming an, a problem because all my makeup tutorials are focused on the eyeshadows in this palette but I mean it, that just says that I did a good job with my purchases right so I'm getting my money's worth out of this color pop palette you guys know when you haven't really talked out loud at all throughout a day and then you start talking and you just feel like you can't talk properly that's me right now I haven't like spoken to anyone at all today and I feel like this is the first time I'm actually speaking out loud and I don't know how to talk anyway the next product that has really made an impact in my 2000 17 for makeup is the Kylie Jenner matte liquid lipstick in Commando is it yeah in Commando and this is from the vacation edition summer collection of 2017 and this color out of the lip kit that she launched was the number one color that really suited my skin tone it really suited my face and it really suited the style of makeup that I always wear so this has been my go-to lip color ever since I got it back in the summer season for 2017. I've been obsessed with it. I bring it with me everywhere. If I'm traveling, this is the lipstick that I will pack with me. It is just the perfect kind of neutral nude lip that isn't too light. So when you put it on, it doesn't wash out your lips and make you look sickly. <laughs> if you guys know what I mean, you can get like matte lipsticks that are nude and they just make you look like you're ill or a zombie this one doesn't do that it's like seriously the perfect nude lip for almost any skin tone i want to say and the next product that has changed my makeup routine since i bought it in 2017 about four months ago is the new bobby brown instant full cover concealer in the color sand if you guys have been watching my makeup tutorials fairly consistently over the past four months then you would know i have been obsessed with it and i always use it now before I would use the NARS radiant creamy concealer but I don't know like I liked that concealer but there was just something about it that didn't really like blow my mind but this one definitely does that it 
kind of sets itself so you don't need to use powder to set it after and that way like your under eye area stays hydrated and doesn't feel dried out and crusty and cakey i don't know it to me it literally is the perfect under eye concealer i don't have any desire to find any other concealer and for the past four months like i haven't even like looked at any other concealer this has just been my absolute go-to it's just absolutely amazing and it actually does full cover like when you have really bad bags under your eyes like i have the worst dark circles under my eyes recently because i haven't been sleeping too well at night so it literally looks purple and bluish under my eyes but you wouldn't be able to tell because this concealer is that amazing and a little goes a long way like you seriously don't have to put a ton of concealer on this just works that good sticking in with the kind of skin makeup the next product that i got also about four months ago or so that has really been revolutionizing my makeup routine has been the l'oreal infallible pro glow foundation in color number 205 and honestly i tried the infallible matte maybe a year or two ago and I absolutely hated it. It just wasn't for me. The colors, none of them matched my skin tone at all. But this one, for some reason, is just like the perfect match for my tan skin. Right now I have a tan because I've been out in the sun. I wear SPF 50 all the time. Don't worry, you guys. I'm all about that SPF protection, but I still get tanned through SPF. And this has been the perfect color for my natural tan skin. Like it matches so flawlessly it blows my mind and it's hydrating but at the same time it still gives you a really decent amount of coverage now i wouldn't rate it as a full coverage or high coverage foundation i would rate it more as a medium coverage that is still really fresh on the skin and gives you the glow that you need so you, if you want to have like a really nice kind of natural dewy look to your skin just put on spf throughout the day and then use this foundation and you really don't need to put like a moisturizer on unless you have extremely dry skin like this literally has been such a good foundation for me i'm actually past the halfway mark of using it because i've been using it that consistently i have never like i can't even remember the last time i think the last time i've loved a foundation as much as i've loved this one has been when I lived in Korea and I used cushion foundations a lot. And I think the only other one I can really, there's two, there's two foundations I've actually been able to use up completely. And the one was the Hera UV Mist Cushion in Ultra Moisture. And then the other one was the Innisfree um, Coverage Cushion. That one I absolutely loved as well. And I went through multiples of them. And I feel like this is a foundation I will repurchase and buy multiples of throughout the next upcoming like year or so for sure like 100 percent if you guys have tried this out let me know what you think of it like i'm really curious to know what other people are um thinking of it like i feel like this is a foundation that's really similar to korean formulas if i have to relate it to everything it reminds me of like korean cushion foundations just in the actual like foundation packaging if that makes sense Another product that has revolutionized my makeup routine in 2017, and I actually bought it in early 2017 when I was still living in Japan, is the Bobbi Brown Highlighter in Pink Glow. I bought this in Japan, and honestly, you guys, it's the best highlighter I have used to this day. It literally gives a glow to the skin, and not that kind of chunky, glittery look. I have it on right now, and it just looks like it looks natural almost it's like you're glowing so well but you almost can't tell you're wearing highlighter if that makes sense it's just it's literally like the best highlighter i've ever used it's even better in my opinion than the becca shimmering skin perfector in moonstone this is just like blows my mind every time i use it it's a holy grail for sure and it's gonna last me for years like a little goes a long way it's really densely packed in the pan it doesn't like give fallout or get dusty when you brush it it honestly is such a high quality well worth the money highlighter like it is definitely a little bit of an investment this is more of a luxury brand but like you won't regret purchasing this i can guarantee you would not regret it so let's move on to skincare and there's been a few new favorites throughout 2017 that really revolutionized my skincare routine and the first one i want to mention is the by wish trend mandelic acid skin prep water five percent this seriously it just it just perfects my skin and I actually did a review video on it so you can check it out in the cards above here as well if you're curious to get more of an in-depth look at it but basically this smoothed out my skin and faded any post 
inflammatory acne spots I had. So it just makes your skin so perfect. Like it's literally the perfect everyday acid liquid to smooth your skin and fade acne scars without being irritating. Like it's, it's amazing. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys wanna learn more about this, then definitely check out the review video because I give a full in-depth like review on it. But like seriously, revolutionized my skin for 2017. Another product I really wanna give a shout out to is the Real You brand, which is a Australian made acne fighting skincare brand. And I did a collaboration with them in my first couple months of living in Australia and since then I've been using their skincare pretty consistently throughout the entire year and it's never failed me like this skincare is a nice everyday go-to skincare product and range that is just usable any time of year like in the winter time it works just fine in the summertime it's perfect because it has the right amount of hydration without being heavy on the skin plus it doesn't cause any irritation or break me out and i actually did a whole review video on the entire range that i got but this product in particular the face gel the control face gel is the one that i've been consistently using the most over 2017 because it's really easy to mix it with other products without it being like chunky or weird if that makes sense but yeah, I did a whole review video on it. So once again, that will be in the cards above so you guys can check that out But seriously like this is the perfect gentle Non-irritating acne care line I have ever used Like a, a line that is specifically for acne Like this whole brand is strictly for people with acne and this is the best brand I've ever used. It doesn't dry out your skin. It actually focuses on hydrating and moisturizing the skin while treating acne without being irritating. So yeah. And then the final skincare product I want to mention is like a, a universal skincare product. It's just literally 100% pure jojoba oil. And I got this about four months ago when I was in Canada and I brought it back and I'm about... Uh, I want to say a quarter through the bottle, but I have been mixing this into my moisturizers and essences for my skincare routine to give the extra amount of moisture that my skin needs without layering on a bunch of heavy creams. And my skin loves it. It literally is the perfect oil for my skin. It just gobbles it up. It doesn't break me out or clog my pores. It just balances out the moisture levels in my skin to get rid of any dryness or flaking or cracking or broken skin. It's just a dream. This has worked for me for years and I've just recently in 2017 gotten back into using jojoba oil and I just don't even know why I even stopped using it. Like I should have never taken jojoba oil out of my routine. It's just perfect for me. Now I have heard that some people it doesn't work for, like it's just not a good oil for them, but definitely look into trying it out because jojoba oil is the oil that is the most closely matched to the oil that our skin naturally produces so it should work for most people so definitely recommend you try it out and it can be used on the body and in the hair and like all that jazz so yeah and one makeup product slash skin product I forgot to mention is the BYS makeup setting spray in matte finish I'm literally like I have this much left of it because I have been obsessed with it for the past three months I use this every day instead of a setting powder because setting powders always break me out like I used to be able to use setting powders and loose powders all the time and then somewhere in 2016 I just couldn't use any powder on my face anymore. They just clog my pores, give me blackheads all in this inner area and on my nose and break me out. It's insane. So I started using a matte setting spray and it's been just what my skin needs. It helps make my makeup stay in place without completely getting rid of my dewy glow. And if I ever want to like have an actual true matte finish, I just literally blot my face and it's it's perfect and my makeup still stays in place all day like this is amazing so I think from now on I'm gonna be like like someone who always uses a matte setting spray I can't live without it now <laughs> then moving on to hair care a lot of you guys recently have been asking me how I got my hair to grow because just in the past I'd say month to couple months, my hair growth has really started to show through like the amount of length I've gained in the past few months. And I wanna say, like I literally can say the number one reason why my hair has actually grown so significantly is because I've been using Hairfinity for the past 
five months, five or six months, like half a year I've been using Hairfinity and I actually did a hair growth review video. Like I used the supplements and the hair mask and this hair oil by Hairfinity for one month and I think I gained about an inch in hair growth which usually doesn't happen for me because I have really 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 thin hair and it breaks so easily like it just always has it and I've always had a problem with growing my hair out and this has just made a difference it's made such a significant difference specifically this oil I'm not too sure if the supplements really made a huge impact but they definitely made a short-term impact that I noticed a difference in the video review that I did but what really made a huge impact consistently and still does is the hair affinity oil like the nourishing botanical oil it stops my hair from breaking it really keeps it moisturized and nourished throughout the day and it doesn't break me out have you guys ever used hair oils and then they break you out on your back I've had that before and this doesn't do that plus it's non comedogenic so you actually can use this on your body and face if you want to and that is something that I did do for a few months in the winter time I was mixing this into my skincare to give my skin the moisture it needs and it was amazing like highly recommend you guys if you're going to invest in any kind of hair growth product this oil is what I'm going to recommend it's the best hair oil I have used to this day bar none like 100 percent best oil i've used to this day not even lying like i've used moroccan oil and i've used argan oil this the best Thinking about hair growth and keeping the hair strong and allowing it to grow one product that i got four months ago when i had my hair done with the l'oreal professional team is the l'oreal smart bond step three and this is similar to olaplex so it's the l'oreal version of olaplex and I've been using this maybe once to twice a week when I shower. I leave this on for four minutes in the shower, kind of as a like really quick hair mask. And this has been saving my hair. Like my hair always feels stronger and healthier after I use it and it stops the hair from breaking. So if anyone knows what Olaplex is, basically it rebonds the hair. So when you dye your hair or when your hair is just really, really damaged, the follicles and the I don't know how to truly explain it, but basically your hair like shaft frays and it becomes brittle and can snap easily. But this reseals the hair strands so that they don't break and so that they're closed and tight and sealed so that they're not gonna snap and break off. It just kind of like restructures the hair strands individually. And I've been using this, like I said, once to twice a week and I've noticed a really significant difference in my hair. It's actually outstanding i'm in love with it and this is definitely something i'm going to keep in my hair routine from now on i'm not too sure if you can buy this in drugstores yet you might have to go to a salon to buy it but i think it's totally worth it it's definitely the proper investment for anyone that dyes their hair like amazing and then another product that has revolutionized my blonde hair care routine that i got I guess I want to say four months or three months after being in Australia is the Finola No Yellow Shampoo. This literally is the best purple shampoo I've used in my entire life. And I've used like John Freda, L'Oreal, um, all like literally I've used pretty much every purple shampoo. And this is the only one that's actually been able to tone my hair. Like it's insane how well this tones my hair. It tones my hair so good, I don't need to use a toner. Like it's amazing, it's absolutely amazing. But the only downside is that it's really drying on the hair. So I wouldn't recommend leaving it in for too long. But if you are planning to use this to tone your blonde hair, when you shower, like put a significant amount on and then just leave it there for like four minutes and rinse it out. And your blonde hair would be it like it will be so ashy it's amazing this is the best ever it's the best ever i don't know if you can get it in canada but if you can find it on amazon grab it like you will not be sorry now one more skincare item i forgot to mention is this april skin cleansing brush which i got i want to say three to four months after living in australia and it seriously is 
perfect for my skin. Like I've used the automatic spin cleansing brushes for a while, but my skin just doesn't need them anymore. Like as I get older, my skin kind of gets a little more delicate, which makes sense because you're aging, right? But this literally is the perfect cleansing brush for my skin. It's just the right amount of bristles and they're so fine and small. They really reach into the pores and get the stuff out. And then it also has this kind of silicone exfoliating side. So if you want to get a more like scrubbing power going on, you can just use that side. But I basically only ever use this side right here. And I use this every single night that I wash my face. It's, it's an essential in my routine now and I've been using it every single day for the past like six months, I wanna say I'm in love with it. Moving on to body care. One thing that I got in the past two or three months, I wanna say, is the Ovina Active Natural Skin Relief 24 Hour Moisturizing Lotion. And I actually originally got this for a blog post collaboration with Avino. And this is the only moisturizer that has been powerful enough to save my dry skin. I don't know why, but something about the water in Australia, it makes my hair and my skin the driest it's been in my entire life. Like literally everything about me is just constantly so dry and like, you know when your skin is so dry that it's like cracking and it looks like dusty? I've never had that in my life until I lived here and even my hair, like it's so dry all the time that I have to do like, like twice a week hair treatments, especially in the summer season, just to stop it from breaking. It's insane. And this has literally been the only moisturizer that has saved the skin on my body. Like my elbows, literally there was like, I think it was a month ago, like the beginning of December, my elbows were so dry that they cracked and bled. <laughs> like I've never had that in my entire life until living here. And this has been the only thing that's stopped that. Like my elbows feel normal again. Like they actually feel like normal skin. It's insane. So yeah, this is the only thing that's literally keeping my skin normal. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. I love it. Moving on to body care. This is one thing I never shared with you guys, but I bought it when I was back in Canada visiting in September. And it is the Philips Epilator the Philips epilator. I bought this because, I don't know, I was just, I was shopping in Shoppers Drug Mart and I was in the hair removal section because I wanted to get into waxing and I tried to wax and it was like horrible. It didn't work at all. It just like, it didn't grab onto my hairs. It was just a bad experience. So I started looking at epilators and I was just sitting there staring at them and I just bought one. Like I just bought one. So this cost me about $120 but it's the best investment I have made in 2017. It literally is the best thing I have purchased and I have no regrets. Like it removes the hair so perfectly everywhere. And it does hurt the first couple times I wanna say, but after that it doesn't hurt anymore because the root of your hair becomes weaker. So it doesn't really grow in as strong or as powerful. And then the hairs come out a lot easier than the first couple times. So this literally is the best thing I've bought in my entire life. I don't know why I didn't buy an epilator earlier. I don't know why I waited till I was 25 to start epilating my legs and my armpits. Like this literally is the best thing. So if you guys have tried waxing and it just doesn't work for you and you're tired of shaving, try getting an epilator. Or you know, you can try laser hair removal, but that's really expensive. So maybe start off with this first. Moving on to oral care, which I feel like I've never really talked about on my YouTube channel. One thing that I invested in back in September as well when I was in Canada was a travel size water pick for my teeth for flossing. And once again, best investment of my life. Like, I don't know, but as I get older, I feel like I'm getting more gaps in my teeth and food gets stuck in my teeth a lot easier, TMI. But this literally has been the only thing to like actually get everything out of my teeth properly. And like, it's insane the kind of stuff that comes out when you start using this. Like when I flossed with just normal floss before, like stuff would come out, but it wouldn't be like, oh my God, you know? But when I use this, I literally every day, like every night I use it, I'm like, 
wow, can you imagine if I didn't have this, all that stuff, all that like food that gets stuck up in your gums just sits there and rots and smells. Like actual reality, you guys, dental reality. All that food gets lodged up into your gums and it rots in your gums and makes your breath smell. So <laughs> this literally is the best investment I've ever made. I think it was 50 or $60. And it's, it's like literally, why did I not have this earlier? Plus it saves money because then you're not constantly buying floss and it's a lot easier to use than traditional string floss. Like you don't have to get your hands all up in there. It doesn't make your gums bleed. And it actually gets rid of gingivitis way better than regular standard floss. Like it's like 99% gets rid of gingivitis. So definitely like you guys get, get, get on this water pick life, not sponsored. What, br what brand is this even? Oh, water pick, water pick brand. Highly recommend it, get on it, you guys. You will be so grateful. Like flossing so important, so important. It's, it's out of this world. <laughs> and then the last thing that I started taking supplement wise for my health in September, four months ago or three months ago was like activated charcoal. So I started taking two capsules of, two capsules of this once to twice a day um to help with my stomach bloating because since i've been living in australia i've had this really chronic problem with stomach bloat and honestly it's it's stress related i know it's stress related but like the only thing that's helped and that i was recommended to use was activated charcoal to help like your digestive system and help get rid of unwanted stomach bloat and it seriously does help plus if you drink like a little too much wine with your girls take a couple of these after and you don't feel as crappy in the morning because it absorbs all the toxins in your gut and it also absorbs um like excess gas in your intestines so yeah, activated charcoal. The only thing you have to know is that you actually have to be careful when taking this. So when you take two of these, it should be two hours after a meal and two hours before any other supplements or prescription medicines because it will absorb all of that. So don't take these at the same time as any other supplements or any prescriptions because it will make those things that you take ineffective like it will absorb them and they won't get into your body so if you are say for example taking birth control or like any kind of prescription drugs then um don't take this close to when you take them but yeah anyway you guys that is it that is all the products in 2017 that revolutionized my daily life and daily routines i hope you guys enjoyed this video if there was anything within my collection of stuff that you also think is your favorite for 2017 or something that you use as well or believe in, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd be really curious. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I loved in 2017. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below, like I said before. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more videos on my channel as I'm going to be uploading here a lot more regularly. So I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.